stepmother porn. My, I see it, absent any evidence. If everybody is literally, if if huge, if a bigger and bigger percentage of people stay at home, and a bigger and bigger percentage of people uh, get divorced, or at least you know at this point a, a solid fifty percent of marriages divorced, but more and more people live at home. The amount of interactions between step parents and stepchildren is going to increase exponentially over time. People covet what they see every day, Clarice. I mean, and part of it is for me, it's like for a lot of these neats, especially like porn addicted neats who are like consuming a lot of the porn, which is a lot of people because there's a lot of people who just just watch porn or mostly watch porn in terms of their sexual life. And uh, they don't have jobs. You know, they're, they're, they, what, what are they going to do with a, a, a fantasy of like having sex with somebody at the water cooler? Peter, what's happening? They, they don't have a fucking job. They live in their parents' house. They don't go anywhere. They're on the internet all day. The only woman they engage in, in any way with in, in any given moment are maybe their stepmom or whoever lives in their house. So giving them a fantasy of having sex with their stepmom is a fantasy that's achievable in their mind as like a possible thing, as a gateway, as something to intensify the pleasure. Because you can imagine actually having sex with somebody in your house. Oh, you're going to go on a date? You're going to interact with a strange woman? That's too much of a fantasy.